आज हमारे बीच वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट वेंचर कैपिटल फंड के लाइक यू नो प्रिंसिपल इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्सन विशाल जी है एंड आई वुड से ये वन बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियो है हम सब के लिए हम सब ने आजकल एक ट्रेंड बन गया कि सब लोग फंडिंग की बातें कर रहे हैं सब लोग शार्क टैंक देख के स्टार्टअप खोलना चाह रहे हैं बट वेंचर कैपिटल फंड क्या होता है और वेब थ्री के अंदर वेंचर कैपिटल फंड क्या होता है uh, उनके पास पैसे कैसे आते हैं हाउ डू दे इन्वेस्ट इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टार्टअप हाउ डू लाइक यू नो वेंचर कैपिटल मेक रिटर्न और वेब थ्री ओरिएंटेशन के अंदर वेंचर कैपिटल फंड्स का क्या स्टैंड होता है उसको डिटेल में समझेंगे बाय वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट वेब थ्री वी सीज विच इज मल्टी कॉइन कैपिटल बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट मैं एक छोटा सा सबको डिस्कलेमर देना चाहता हूँ दैट ऑल दो आर गेस्ट दिस वीक इज अ इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ रजिस्टर्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट एडवाइजर नथिंग इन दिस पॉडकास्ट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड एन ऑफर ऑफ मल्टी कॉइन इन्वेस्टमेंट एडवाइजरी सर्विस और शुड अदरवाइज बी कंफ्यूज फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट tax legal or other financial sub- advisory this podcast is just for education aap log vishal ki journey ko samajhiye kaise venture capital ke andar crack kiya jata hai bahut mushkil hota hai venture capital ke andar crack karna kyunki it's the uh, venture capital fund aisa hota hai ki wo it's a fund with lps that is uh, liquidity providers to that particular fund aur kuch intelligent log hote hain jo usko different different jagah pe lagate hain there are analysts There are principals and there are partners जो मिल के कोई वेंचर कैपिटल फंड चलाते हैं और बहुत छोटा ग्रुप एक बहुत बड़ा पैसा भी मैनेज कर सकता है एंड दैट्स वाई वेंचर कैपिटल फंड की जॉब्स बहुत लिमिटेड होती हैं वेंचर कैपिटल फंड में आना बहुत मुश्किल होता है और बेसिकली टू हैव दैट पर्टिकुलर माइंड सेट कि अभी तो कुछ भी नहीं दिख रहा है यहाँ पर रोड कैसे बनेगी यहाँ पे पाइपलाइन कैसे चलेगी वाटर वर्कस की कैसे सिटी पूरी चलेगी स्टार्टअप की उसको समझना टेकिंग फाउंडर्स बेट टेकिंग आइडिया बेट्स ये बहुत ज्यादा क्रिटिकल होता है एंड आई थिंक देर इज नो बडी बेटर देन विशाल टू एक्सप्लेन दैट टू अस वी बोथ आर इन न्यूयॉर्क राइट नाउ एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक विशाल भाई फॉर गिविंग हिज टाइम टू अस ये पूरी जर्नी समझाने में वेब थ्री वेंचर्स क्या होता है उसे समझने में एंड फॉर एवरीबडी हु इज वॉचिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर शो वो वेब थ्री वी में कैसे क्रैक कर सकता है वेब थ्री वी के अंदर कैसे आ सकता है या फिर अपने स्टार्टअप के लिए कैसे मल्टीकॉइन कैपिटल को अप्रोच करके पैसे ले सकता है क्या फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स हैं जिसके ऊपर एक वेब थ्री स्टार्टअप बनना चाहिए और मल्टी कॉइन कैपिटल ऐसी क्या खूबियां दिखता है एक स्टार्टअप के अंदर एक पर्टिकुलर फाउंडर के अंदर जो वो लाइक यू नो उसके ऊपर बेट ले सके पैसे लगा सके सो so, विशाल वेलकम टू द शो वेब थ्री की दुनिया में आके कैसा लग रहा है आपको इट्स ग्रेट थैंक यू फॉर है अमेजिंग थोड़ी सी आपकी जर्नी के बारे में बताओ विशाल कि हाउ डिड यू गेट स्टार्ट इंजीनियरिंग की आपने सबसे पहले आई बी से उसके बाद लाइक यू नो पीसी में घुसने का लाइक व्हाट व्हाट वाज द थिंकिंग बिहाइंड इट एंड इवेंचुअली हाउ डिड यू लैंड अप इनटू मल्टी कॉइन कैपिटल या श्योर काफी कुछ रैंडम भी था सो लाइक आई मीन आई ग्रो अप इन बॉम्बे एरिया नियर बाय बॉम्बे अंडरग्रेड डिड एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग इन आईआईटी बॉम्बे आई ट्राइड टू बिकम एन एरोस्पेस इंजीनियर इन माय फर्स्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स बट जल्दी समझ गया कि नहीं ये पसंद नहीं है तो जब ग्रेजुएट हुआ लीमन क्राइसिस हुई थी दिस वाज दिसंबर सितंबर 2008 लीमन वेंट बैंक्रप्ट दिसंबर 2008 मैं प्लेसमेंट्स में था कंपनीज वर नॉट कमिंग बट यू नो एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन वाज गुड फॉर मी जनरली एज अ किड अ कंपनी केम एज अ प्रॉप ट्रेडिंग शॉप सेट की भाई तुम्हें प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड करना आता है मतलब हां आता है एंड देन आई गॉट इनटू दैट सो आई बिकेम अ प्रॉप ट्रेडर आई डिडंट नो व्हाट ट्रेडिंग इज आई लाइक्ड इट सो मच दैट आई वाज लाइक ओ I want to pursue this career in trading and finance, but jaldi ek cheez samajh aagi. This was around 2010 that the world is becoming more quantitative, so I thought I want to do more quantitative degree. Ah, fir main dekha kahan pe degrees mil rahi hai aisi, to dekha US was the best place to do that. So I did Master of Financial Engineering from UC Berkeley in California. Uske baad I joined Deutsche Bank. I was with Deutsche Bank for eight years. Ah, uh, wahan pe main you know. I was in derivatives, pricing, selling, structuring, equity derivatives to all types of financial institutions. Uh, while I was doing that, obviously having that Wall Street experience and understanding how the infrastructure on the Wall Street works was a very useful thing to know for the later part of my journey. So, like, I got introduced to Bitcoin a couple of times, but like, let's say practically, I started in 2017, first half, uh, went down the Bitcoin 
you know, just being an Indian, I think it ingrained how gold makes sense. Uh, I think so. It was very hard to explain people in the West why Bitcoin makes sense, but it comes naturally to a lot of people in the East, especially India and China, which is like 40% of the world. So that made sense. And also like, you know, its properties against other previous stores of value, mostly were better. Uh, went down the rabbit hole, 2018, 19 is where I started looking into DeFi. And this is where the Wall Street experience helped. Because when you realize, like, you know, the way I tell people, this is like the Matrix movie and Neo. Like once you see the Matrix, you cannot unsee it. So when I saw like, okay, this is how blockchains will work in the steady state. Yeah, there is an engineering challenge between here and then. Uh, but once we reach there, this is how the modern finance will work. It's not the first time that modern finance, has, the finance has reinvented its plumbing and infrastructure. Uh, and, you know, that was the time when people would write in Bloomberg and other magazines that, oh, crypto people are reinventing finance. They are finding credit. They are finding this and that. And I'm like, yes, like, you know, inventing cars does not mean that you're finding a new way to go from, you're finding a new problem. The problem is still to go from point A to point B. Previously, you used Ghoda Gadi or Bell Gadi, you used the car. You used the car for the new roads. It won't go to the new roads. So, I, I, like, to me, I understood, tried to understand the criticism as much as possible. And then I realized the people who are criticizing are not actually investing time in going deep into understanding the technology. So, you know, whatever. So when, then I found DeFi, then I kept going down the rabbit hole. And this was 2020 when I realized that Bitcoin, DeFi are instantiations of something more meta, yeah, more higher level concept that is happening. What is actually happening is we have unlocked, as I would call as a society, a technology where people can coordinate value. Like I can send someone to do whatever they want. Whatever they want. Uh, this is a very simple thing to say. These go back to like the first four lines of Bitcoin's white paper by Satoshi. But that is what is happening in the entire crypto. Like everything could be distilled to that. And then I was like, man, uh, this is so powerful and it's going to last for decades. I could be a part of what you call Wall Street. And I love my job. I love my job back then also. Uh, I can be selling derivatives or I could actually be working with entrepreneurs who will make the financial equivalent of Ubers and Googles in this era. And, and it took me like, this sounds very straightforward, but it took me four years from 2017 to start getting into Bitcoin to realizing first, I just wanted to be a trader. Then I wanted to be a salesperson thinking what I can bring from my old career to new career. But when I reached that point, I was like, no, the, the, the pie is just extremely big and will continue to compound at a very fascinating rate. Uh, and then once I realized I want to be an early stage investor, also I had a very clear idea that I did not want to be an entrepreneur at that point of time. Because I, I strongly believe any successful company or product banane ke liye, you need at least five to 10 years. And to really, really make it big, you need to be a full missionary of a specific problem statement. Uh, and I did not want to force it on me. Uh, I was like, I like intellectual stimulation. I like risk. I like talking to people about different things. And I do not have that one statement I can just work on 10 years for without worrying about anything else. So the next best thing or the next equivalent thing to me was becoming a venture investor. And then I was in New York, so it was relatively easier, but like I kept networking, I kept going to events. I started adding value. I think that, you know, this adding value is a very abused term, but I would meet investors and be like, okay, what are you looking at? How can I help? How can I save one or two hours of your life? And, you know, I kept doing that here and there. And eventually when I got into multi-coin, if I look back, I can say all of that kind of sort of helped little by little, if not in the final interview, but, and then yeah. this, this is when I joined multi-coin in April, 2021. Right. It's, I would say it's uh, pitch perfect journey. Aap ki. Sabse pehle, uh, uh, you know, there are layman brothers who are karan aapko job. Nahi mili. So you understood ki financial issues kya hai world ke andar. Then you got into quants or uske through, uh, like, you know, you, you went to the US or fir you worked in Wall Street, like, dumb beach ke andar, New York ke andar, uh, or you understood ki kya wo konsi ghoda gaadi use kar rahe point A se point B jane ke liye. Or aapne socha ki yari ghoda gaadi to badi hai, usko thoda sa invent karke, thoda sa problem ko reinvent nahi karna hai, solution ko reinvent karke. Let's try to see if Bitcoin can be a solution. 
and that's how you got into being a venture capital uh, uh, person or eventually landed up into multi coin so ye thoda sa aap vishal multi coin ke bare mein bata sakte hain ki multi coin uh, like you know how was it found aur itna bada vc fund kaise ban gaya hai wo what is multi coin yeah so cut me if you think the answer gets long because i'll try to keep it short but it's a long answer uh multi coin capital was founded by kyle samani and tushar jain they were college friends they went on to do their own startups they understood startup struggles uh and then they realized that simultaneously kind of sort of from what i know that they found bitcoin and ethereum uh i think tushar found bitcoin earlier and he was like okay this is cool but what can i do with it and there was not much to do with it so he let it go for that time this was very early like almost no, no, indian i guess uh no uh, no not nice. both uh, then what it, what i call so yes then Sorry, i think kyle know. found then kyle found ethereum and then he 2015 around and he was like this is fascinating uh and he has a very deep software history knowledge etc so then they came together in 2016 17 they were dabbling and you know people reached out to them uh be like oh okay uh, can you manage our money or whatever in some capacity and they were like okay we love this we are obsessed with crypto people want us to you know take care of their money so why don't we do this so the fund was started in 2017 as a hedge fund we traded public tokens this is before my time uh, and then इन 2018 एटीन बहुत जल्दी रियलाइज हो गया कि भाई पब्लिक टोकन तो अच्छी बात है बट वही ना कार को चलाने के लिए पूरी गाड़ियां लाइक रोड चाहिए पेट्रोल स्टेशन चाहिए एक्सेट्रा लॉर्ड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दैट नीड्स टू बी बिल्ट आउट एंड देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी इन द प्राइवेट मार्केट सिंस देन वी हैव लॉन्च थ्री वेंचर फंड फर्स्ट वेंचर फंड वॉज फाइव इयर्स वी हैव यू नो इट्स एक्सपायर देन we deployed venture fund 2 fully and now we are deploying out of our venture fund 3 so Amazing. this is really the history of funds i can also talk about the mindset on how we think about deploying in companies or protocols or networks yeah yeah wo wo aayega baad mein i think uh, we need to save the best for the last sabse zyada okay. zaruri wahi hai part ki kaise ek uh, startup चूज करता है लाइक यू नो इवेंचुअली कैसे एक बार थ्री वेंचर्स चूज करता है कि ये स्टार्टअप है ये फाउंडर है इसमें हम इतने सारे पैसे लगाएंगे एक बैंक एक करोड़ डॉक्यूमेंट मांगता है एक छोटी सी चीज को लगाने के लिए और उसके अलावा वो आपका होम भी लीज पे लगाता है ये भी करता है वो भी करता है वेब थ्री वेंचर फंड बिना कोई सिक्योरिटी के फाउंडर पे बैट करता है एंड इवेंचुअली द गोल इज टू बी सक्सेसफुल एंड गिव हायर रिटर्न टू इट्स ओन इन्वेस्टर्स तो मैं थोड़ा सा यूजर्स को बता ऑडियंस को बताना चाहता हूँ बेसिकली वेंचर फंड क्या होता है वेंचर फंड इज इज बेसिकली एक कंपनी होती है जिसके पास मैं लेमन टर्म्स में बता रहा हूँ एक कंपनी होती है जिसके पास इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स और हाई नेटवर्क इंडिविजुअल से पैसा आता है और उस पैसे को वो डिप्लॉय करते हैं डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टार्टअप में ऐसे देखते हुए कि कैसे उनको रिटर्न मिलेगा और किस स्टेज पे वो स्टार्टअप में इन्वेस्ट करते हैं उस हिसाब से उस फंडिंग को बोला जाता है अगर वो एकदम अर्ली स्टेज में कर रहे हैं तो सीड या प्रीसीड होता है अगर ग्रोथ स्टेज में कर रहे हैं तो सीरीज ए होता है अगर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक यू नो लाइफ स्टेज में या फिर आईपीओ स्टेज में कर रहे हैं मेच्योर स्टेज में कर रहे हैं तो सीरीज बी या सीरीज सी होता है ठीक है तो ये नॉर्मल वेंचर फंड्स होते हैं और ऑलरेडी वेब टू के अंदर वेंचर फंड्स एग्जिस्ट करते हैं इवन बिगेस्ट कंपनीज लाइक एप्पल जो है उनके भी वी uh, हुआ करते थे एंड दे हैव मेड मल्टी फोल्ड ऑफ रिटर्न ऑन देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एप्पल इन सबके भी वेंचर कैपिटल फंड हुआ करते थे एंड दे स्टिल एग्जिस्ट जो आप शार्क टैंक में देखते हो वो बेसिकली एक एंजल इन्वेस्टमेंट होता है मेरे ख्याल में और जो वेंचर कैपिटल फंड करते हैं वो बड़े बड़े साइज के चेक लिखते हैं छोटे भी लिखते हैं मीडियम लिखते हैं बड़े भी लिखते हैं बट इट्स मोर ऑफ अ इट्स नॉट वन पर्सन वेल्थ और मनी इट्स रादर एक इंस्टीट्यूशन या डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट के पैसे लगते हैं उस फॉर्म में और वो पैसे लगाते हैं आगे जाके do in 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 order of higher returns uh, basically uh, vishal hamara mera question ye tha ki web2 ke andar vcs already exist karte hain web2 vcs aur web3 vcs mein kya difference hota hai unki style mein unke approach mein unki thinking mein what is the difference between a web2 vc and a web3 vc uh, like you know ekdam thoda hindi mein hamari audience ko aap bata sakte ho so 
आई स्टार्ट बाय एक चीज बोल के लाइक यू नो मैं इस इंडस्ट्री में पर्सनली सात साल से हूँ रफली प्रोफेशनली तीन साल से एंड फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम आई हर्ड पीपल आई वेब टू वर्सेज वेब थ्री I I think this is not right. This is web like, like the future is web two and web three. Like, we'll come to the VC part, but I think this is a very delicate and important point to understand. What is web two? Web two is sending a message from again point A to point B on the internet infrastructure. Internet is the actual. I'm talking about novels and chapters. i would say internet is so far a two chapter novel of which chapter 1 was message passing from point a to point b uh i i i compare it to like an infinite wasteland jahan pe kisi bhi cheez ki koi value nahi thi without a trusted third party like so usme finance ka concept nahi tha usme bas data yahan se wahan ja raha tha because imagine right maine ek word document mein likha 100 rupees और मैंने आपको ईमेल कर दिया कि भाई ये सौ रुपए विल यू एक्सेप्ट इट नो बिकॉज यू विल बी लाइक आई हैव द कॉपी ऑन माय कंप्यूटर एंड आई कैन बी सेंडिंग दैट ईमेल टू मिलियन पीपल सो हाइपर इन्फ्लेशन सो द एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेब टू इज हाउ टू ऑप्टिमाइज पासिंग इंफॉर्मेशन ओनली वेब थ्री ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी इज फाइनेंस Web two has nothing to do with finance. If you, I can talk about Web two fintech also because that's an obvious question that will come. But like, Web three is where if I send you a transaction and say, okay, this is one Bitcoin, you trust me that okay, this is your Bitcoin, and you are trusting it because the way Web three works. We don't have to go into that detail right now. So, a very big mindset change, and like I have seen this mind because again I have been on Wall Street and here. See, what is the conventional wisdom in Web two? Move fast, break things. क्या हो जाएगा? किसी का account hack हो गया, password hack हो गया, ठीक है? पांच घंटे server down है, like those are the things. Not fun, but like that's what it is. Web three, you are dealing with money. You are dealing with somebody's food money, somebody's rent money, somebody's kids' education money, retirement money. Whenever you are dealing with money. it is a lot about trust and this is a big gap i have seen in the mindset of general ecosystem of silicon valley versus new york new york only moves as fast so far it doesn't break things when it comes to finance and it is such a massive massive mind shift that 5 years are not sufficient for existing winners to adapt to it it sounds very obvious and simple when i say it this way but think about people who have had 20 years of investing career finding unicorn after unicorn after unicorn in a previous paradigm where move fast break things works and then you suddenly say like no don't lose people's trust and you can point to companies and protocols today coinbase has technically never been hacked from what i know it is one of the most trusted companies today there have been many players who have come and gone but it has prioritized trust people say it's very slow and it is but there is a reason bitcoin never ever uh, except for the 2010 bug right then you go to uniswap never been hacked like still uh, keeps 60% of market share in the world where you can just easily soft fork and like a hard fork or whatever like not just for basically uh anyway so point being this is the biggest shift in mindset that a lot of people cannot take second building companies is built different than building protocols and networks companies there is a playbook that people know for hundreds of years and especially in the last 20 30 40 years building a network like how do you get ethereum off the ground if you went to any of the web2 vcs or solana off the ground or aptos or sui like it is just not like the standard motions they are obviously very 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 important for a lean organization to run but how do you build community that's an entirely social concept that has not, no precedence in web 2 uh third thing tokens tokens and equities are like suffice to say if you're looking what's happening in the market different beasts 
लाइक ये दो अलग टाइप के जानवर है एंड टू अगेन शिफ्ट योर माइंड फ्रॉम ओके दिस इज अक्विटीज वर्क डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लो एंड ऑल दिस टोकन like there is no mental model so people like you know and for a startup as a founder we say you launch two products if you launch a token your company and a product and network protocol whatever and the token because the token community is like as you know when token when token when token and then like suddenly it's a problem for the founder how do you manage these expectations uh so to navigate because founders come with a special skill set that they have about the product they are building so how to help them in structure the token such that the incentives align with the future of the product how to get them introductions to capital markets and say get sa up market maker say kaam karwa sakte ho and so on and so forth it's very different and fourth i mean i can keep going but the fourth is like it's open most of it is like open source like the clear playbook of web2 has been like okay build a company create walls and we are good that's not how it works for the most part look at bitcoin a trillion point a trillion plus asset uh ethereum are approaching half a billion dollar, half a trillion asset these are kind of more, sort of open source which web2 vc would be doing this when they came at the angel round nobody shark tank sabse pehle puchhte hain ki ip ip hai na aapke paas registered ip hai na to protect your business aur web3 ke andar sabse pehle koi uh, investor puchhta hai ki open source to hai na bhai माहौल में क्या डिफरेंस होता है चीजों में क्या डिफरेंस होता है माइंड सेट में क्या डिफरेंस होता है you know the good thing about taking money from web3 vcs for crypto is you have not web3 vcs have nothing to lose like this is what we are all in on but you know web2 vcs ke liye wo ek crutch hai ki bhai thoda sa 100 rupaye hai let's put 1 rupya 2 rupya isme hoayenge bull market mein i have already started getting pings uh and then they'll put some money in and then you know invariably given the volatility of the asset class they leave so i think this is the biggest difference we are locals and they are tourists and tourists are not bad they are just tourists that's all it is they have never gone all in and without going all in like you know up standard advice they do na founder go go all in you know be lean like 24/7 all that stuff jo bhi aap dete ho right it's up same applies for investors And I think that's the biggest difference. और फिर इशूज होने चालू हो जाते हैं तो मैं विशाल भाई आपसे ये पूछना चाहता हूँ कि हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इज इट फॉर फाउंडर एंड स्टार्टअप वेब थ्री स्पेसिफिक हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इज इट टू चूज द राइट Uh, angel the right vc for you for your startup kitna important hai kya kya issues ho sakte hain agar uh, vc aur founder ke beech mein like you know cheeze nahi ban rahi ho aur uh, acche se cheeze nahi chal rahi ho kyunki india mein normally log sochte hain yaar bas paisa aa jaye kahin se bhi aaye kaise bhi aaye doesn't matter par mere khayal mein ek right vc chunna aapke liye bahut zaruri hai what do you think on that yeah it is obviously very important but i also want to first before i go on my answer sympathize with people who think like that right like ye bhai paisa aa jaye wo bewakoof to nahi hai na wo bhi wo bhi samajhdar log hai like everybody is generally an adult and smart uh what are the options why people just take money from wherever a there is general scarcity of capital so you know beggars are not choosers situation uh depending on who you had in mind when you said it is possible that the indian ecosystem was not giving them enough money if we are talking about indian and you know if you talk about indian crypto vcs man there was a nuclear blast that happened in 2022 and nobody returned until the start of 2024 i guess so yeah in that case as a founder marta kya na karta like you know do you be idealist about bhai paisa to khali multi coin capital se lunga nahi to main company ko dead hone dunga no not really so that's one caveat the second is maybe you're a scammer 
like you know and th then you really don't care about building a company like you know i don't hold every single founder or every single vc to the highest bar i i want i mean i i do who i want to work with but i accept that there are people who don't care about building anything and they don't care right so that aside now why does it matter so like think of again a startup as a journey going through an inception big bang you know when big bang happened as they say it was all like hot gas and primordial soup to bolte nobody knew what things are and then after billions and billions and billions of years we are now crystallizing into like okay there are these galaxies and all that stuff now there are some you know you know how the universe works same thing with startups the founder has an idea that's a big bang moment but now just imagine how many decisions every minute the founder has to make hiring kaise karni locate kaha hona hai funding kaise kar uthani hai exact problem statement kya hai go to market kya hai kiske sath partnership karni hai and it is endless questions and in web3 as i said before the community angle the token angle there are even more complicated angles i think the way i think of vc and founder relationship is like a chess game like you know there there is a way people play chess it's like you go broad and then you go deep and then once you go deep and broad then you prune and then like acha these are three or four things that i can actually work on so we generally by the word you have seen i don't even know hundreds and thousands of decks at this point uh, probably thousands and then seeing what actually definitely does not work and what can potentially work versus the founder who has gone really really deep and figured out acha ye to bilkul nahi chalega and this may work and so this is it a good vc's job is to not say yes to the founder every time a good vc's job we think is to say no you are wrong to the founder all the time like because every time we help him avoid one bad decision is time saved right is trust earned etc etc so incredible i think and again this goes back to like you know like web 2 versus web 3 is not web 2 versus web 3 is web 2 and web 3 i see this twitter debate all the time about crypto vcs versus crypto founders thinking of founders as purists and vcs or whatever but like uh, that's what it is it's founders and vcs like the real company which is a great company that you can look around in the last 20 30 years did not have a reasonable vc input like amazon google planner program bitcoin like led them but it's not bitcoin it's a, it's a network yeah yeah right definitely but most of them had uh okay this uh, this is definitely uh, like you know something that people should look upon uh jaisa ki vishal bhai ne bata uh moving forward uh, vishal apne bataya tha ki 7 saal ho gaye aapko is particular industry ke andar aur 3 saal full time karke ho gaye और जैसा कि भी वी कैन सी लाइक यू नो द मार्केट्स आर पंपिंग बैक थिंग्स आर कमिंग बैक वापस एक बुल मार्केट आता हुआ दिख रहा है तो 2017, 2020 और 2023-24 uh, के वेब थ्री इको के अंदर क्या आपको डिफरेंस लाइक यू नो देखने को मिला है क्या अच्छी चीज़ है जो हमने इवॉल्व करी है क्या लाइक यू नो कौन से अच्छे पाथ पे हम गए फ्रॉम नथिंग टू वॉट वी आर नाउ क्या कुछ बुरी चीजें जो आपको दिख रही हैं कौन कौन सी एकदम एब्सोल्यूट रबिश चीजें जिन जो लोगों को एकदम डिस्कार्ड कर देनी चाहिए आई थिंक व्हाट वुड हेल्प आल्सो इज टू टेल यू हाउ आई थिंक अबाउट व्हेन आई सी सिग्नल्स इन द मार्केट व्हिच इज नॉट ऑलवेज हाउ पीपल इंटरप्रेट द रीजन व्हाई आई गॉट इनटू क्रिप्टो वाज एसईसी रिजेक्टेड द बिटकॉइन ईटीएफ इन 2017 लाइक आई यूज्ड टू सेल एसईसी रजिस्टर्ड प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आई न्यू एसईसी इज बिजी and i knew i had a friend who had told me about bitcoin and given four years of his career to bitcoin so i was like acha banda to smart hai is cheez mein to dumb hai but i i don't know i have a good job and when i saw why is sec wasting time and time is a scarce resource so i was like kuch to hai yahan pe so i took it that as an indicator and like jab paisa aata hai jab paisa ban banne ki kshamta hoti hai ecosystem mein you know you get bad actors so that's perennially true of crypto industry because it's so easy to make money if you just you know do basic things that it has attracted people who want to scam and it has attracted people who are gullible like you know jo bhole hote ki bhai acha paisa ban jayega wo jaake khareed lete kuch aur fatak se lose kar dete right i think that's a constant bad thing that has plagued in crypto but i don't have a better option 
how do you bootstrap this ecosystem without speculators? The people like to give speculators a bad time. I don't think they understand how human psychology works. Like it's very fundamental. It's like virtue signaling, Sachi Boloto. Like you have to have speculators to draw attention to things, which then smart people can actually say, oh, this is interesting. Let's do something on it. Uh, so now how has Web3 evolved or crypto evolved or Bitcoin evolved in 2017 to 24? So when I knew, originally I knew about it in 2013, it was literally empty gogs and etc. But I was not a player. That's why I didn't say this before. It was like, my friend used to tell me the pitch that now I understand. But I'm like, bro, what are you saying? So there was just an idea and some libertarians and cypherpunks. Like, that's what it was. And some people wanted to do something. 17, the idea of smart contract blew people away. Ki, achha, Think of it as a second Big Bang, if you want to say it. Not exactly the Big Bang level of Bitcoin, but like very close, right? Uh, like, wow, you can do this, you can do that, you can do decentralized compute, you can do decentralized file storage, you can do these. Some ideas there. There was nothing akin. And if you were around for that time, you realize how crazy it was. The ICOs of those times, from hundreds of millions of dollars were getting flipped, like were getting oversubscribed in 30 seconds. It's insanity. People think this is bull market. Oh no, this is just the PTSD feeling that we have a bull market right now because we went through 2022 and 23. Uh, that is crazy. 2021 May. So, so like there was nothing of substance that was happening. It was just speculation bringing more eyeballs and attention to the sector. And that's what I'm saying. Like that's why speculation is important at a whole higher level. 2021 May, there were some things that happened which happened in the bear market. 2018, 19, 20 May, there was like NFT idea that became popular, ERC721, uh, like late 2017, but like it actually, people worked in 2018, 1920 on that. DeFi was what people were working in 2018, 1920. So some of the ideas started coming into practice. Be like, okay, we can actually build some kind of financial infrastructure. Of course, it's not safe. It's not pure right now, like to put your rent money, et cetera, and be sleep with peace. Uh, but you know, there are a lot of people, smart people, hardworking people working on that. So 2021 tha. and we all kept saying institutions are coming, institutions are coming, but there were no institutions. There was the first time that retail had advantage over institutions from what I can say. Then came 2023. Micro strategy, uh, institution mining, micro strategy is, uh, the, the country yeah. of El Right, right. When I meant institution, I meant the entire machination of Wall Street coming with tens of trillions. Like, right. Pura, pura yeah. bad, right? Like, 2023 was terrible. If you really ask a lot of hardcore believers went through really tough time too, because after Silicon Valley bank crash and like the operation choke point 2.0, whatever people say, like, it was an extremely tough time, but builders didn't stop building. And now here we are. Solana finally has come out as another blockchain that has been appended in the ecosystem in, alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum with a totally different value proposition. And it didn't happen overnight. It took years. Uh, so it's faster, cheaper, etc. cetera. Uh, I think Bitcoin ecosystem, we are seeing, I have not seen this energy in Bitcoin ecosystem since 2017, uh, the Bitcoin Cash hard fork days. Uh, and I think people are repatriating what has worked in other blockchains in whatever capacity the Bitcoin core software allows with some kind of trust assumptions. Uh, and not to mention the ETF, right? Like, I don't think people understand how big of a deal. If people say, oh, this is huge, I think they don't understand how huge it is. And it is not a huge in a one week day. It is a huge or multi-month, multi-year because you have to understand again, like a lot of things are like very basic in psychology. Like I spent years telling people in Deutsche Bank, like guys, Bitcoin, guys, crypto, and nobody would do anything. And same is the story of everybody who tried to pitch crypto to anybody in Wall Street until 2022-3. There was a career risk. Even if you made money, that does not matter. But if you lost money, you were fired. Now every manager will ask their guy, what is your blockchain strategy? What is your crypto? You lose money, that's fine. But like there has to be a strategy which means a career risk has flipped from not doing anything. We have to do things, something, and this will flow in dollars into the, and once you make the first jump, right from fiat or like from tradfi to up Bitcoin, 
everything else is an order of magnitude lower to go further so this acceleration that the ecosystem will see i think in terms of dollars coming in in terms of builders building new stuff it is not a taboo so silicon valley like silicon valley have fantastic founders their skill set is second to none when it comes to do certain things when it comes to building a company uh they will also come now because now they'll start understanding and like taboo would be over so there are a lot of social aspects of crypto that are turned positive because of it एक तरह से वैलिडेशन मिल गई है इंडस्ट्री को कि जो हम कर रहे हैं वो ठीक कर रहे हैं और बहुत सारे जो लाइक यू नो लॉट ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क ओल्डीज विल स्टार्ट टेकिंग क्रिप्टो सीरियसली आफ्टर द ईटीएफ एंड द लॉट ऑफ सिलिकॉन वैली एंड एज वेल एज इंडियन सिलिकॉन वैली बैंगलोर एंड ऑल दीज प्लेसेस के टेक वेटरन्स जो हैं वो इस, अब अब इस इंडस्ट्री को सीरियसली देखने लग जाएंगे व्हिच इज एन अमेजिंग थिंग टू लुक अपॉन एज वेल राइट Uh, और एक तरह से ये इंडस्ट्री कुछ कुछ से मतलब एकदम साइफर पैंक से चालू होके इसके अंदर आई है सो इफ यू थिंक अबाउट द जर्नी इट्स डेफिनेटली अमेजिंग एंड क्रेजी मिशाल भाई आपने काफी सारी नो नो दे स्टिल माइट गेट डिसइल्यूशन अगेन एज लाइक आई एम जस्ट सेइंग दिस इज अ फनी थिंग बट दे विल लाइक ओह डोज कॉइन डॉग विथ हैड दीस गाइस आर रैलिंग एक्चुअली अ लॉट एंड ट्रेडिंग मच मोर देन ओह माय इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रोल अप प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन सो लाइक लुक The world is a funny place. We live in I don't know what kind of simulation. Uh, I don't know. I'm joking. I don't know if we live in a simulation, but like, it's it's hilarious. I I, I won't discount crypto to not disillusion people again, <laughs> especially the people who are not fully bought in. Once you're all in, then it's a different story. Right, right, definitely. Uh, always, this way, it's said that it's an educational platform. But you have to DIY, do your own research. that's very important dyr is very important for you I to do any no no financial advice all education based uh, par uh, like you know vishal as you've been in the crux jaise ki aapne bataya hazaron pitch yani ki slide decks aur presentation dekh liye logo ki startups ki uh, ye dekhte hue ki wo kya bana rahe hain kya chalega kya nahi chalega uh, kaun si aisi cheez hai jo matlab of course etf was wow moment for bitcoin wow moment for you know for the big bees to take our industry seriously par kaun sa hi aisi particular cheez hai jisse ab web3 ke andar mass adoption aayega abhi tak i don't think uh, we are even close niching to youtube ya facebook ya fir google ke use case ke 0.1% tak bhi hum nahi pahunche mass adoption web3 ke andar uh, mass adoption ethereum protocols aur ecosystem ko use karne ke andar kab aur kaise aayega given the current wallet strategy that we have given the current web3 infrastructure on chain tooling and everything we have mujhe lagta hai ki hum thoda sa dur hai us uh, like you know us 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 particular cheez ke because i don't expect my mom ya fir meri dadi ji ko is particular wallet ka use karte hue so mass adoption kaise aayega what is the strategy for web3 to get into the hands of normal uh, common people uh i have a big issue with that general question like mass adoption youtube ka itna hai tumhare you are comparing wrong things but i'll entertain i, I just wanted to give that caveat and uh, this is not the right forum to go deep 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 into why that is a misframed question sometimes uh kaise aayega okay let's assume there will be a billion people 10 billion 5 billion people using this i agree with you they will not be using a wallet all the time and i'm keeping the seed phrases somewhere chupa ke i don't know in different country where they don't even live etc right uh that's fine the question is can you like, like you go back to the godfather movie what did he say i'll make you an offer you cannot refuse that's it what is that offer our industry will make that the world will not re- cannot refuse uh and there are quite a few and again it's only a question when you're talking to western world it's not a question when you're talking to people in latam or some parts of emerging countries what i mean uh ability to save your hard earned money in it does in its purchasing power is a basic thing that people want it's like a very basic thing uh it is not available to a lot of people in different parts of the world and that's why people thought people will have bitcoin sure some people actually do that but a lot of people have voted with their money saying we want usd based stable coins 
right? So I think stable coins is going to be a very massive vector for residents in emerging countries who are afraid of losing their purchasing power to get access to it. The mass adoption doesn't have to start with New York. New York could very easily be the last person or city to adopt it. So stable coins is going to be one. But I also want to make clear, this is not a new answer. But why is now the right time? Because I've after thinking a bunch, I have realized that four things at least hoti hai, payments. Mein. You have to be cheap. Otherwise, what, what, what coffee are you going to buy if you're going to pay $50? Sorry, you're not going to do that. You have to be fast. Like the transaction is not happening. Coffee kaise milegi? Thandi ho jayegi, bante bante, right? Like cheap, fast, stable. Like if I don't care about buying two coffees with my asset tomorrow, if I can buy one right today. Uh, for that, I have my investment portfolio. But for my day-to-day -day rent payments, food payments, etc., I just want to buy the same quantity every day. So you need a stable currency. So this is the first time in the cycle that we have 100 billion plus stable coins to actually go around. And the number is only increasing. Uh, whereas previous cycle, this was an idea. Uh, and cheap and fast blockchain was not an option until this cycle. So this is only unlocking now. And the last part is compliant. Like there are, there is a part of crypto that wants to have an anarchy in the world and power to them. But there is a massive part of crypto who just wants to have a better financial suite of, you know, application that they can use uh, or they can provide to the users. And these people don't have problem being compliant, but the technology was not there. But we are very quickly getting there. I would encourage you to read into something called token extensions how on a permissionless blockchain, you can embed hooks into tokens, which can, you know, make them permissioned in the way that a user and a company wants. So, or a government wants. If you're like, oh, you can only send this token to anybody who is a citizen of India, not to anybody else. These kinds of things are on the horizon. Uh, so uh, these are the things that I think is, making this the right time for stable coins to go parabola. That's why one of the things I really focus on is stable coins, payments, and neo banking, the real banking, where the back end is not a Wells Fargo database on which you've put a nice front end website and do the customer acquisition game and you're a FinTech. No, you're gonna change the back end custody model. That's what I meant when Neo sees the matrix. So and the second part is earning, deep in. Like people have laptops, people drive cars, People have windows connected to Ionet or render, put a dash cam in your car and help people build the map. Uh, and then also what you call, uh, put a hotspot in next to your window and create a global people's network. Uh, and when people actually know that, oh shit, bina kuch kiye kiye, I can make $10,000 a month just by giving these services, it will make people, it's an offer they will not say no to. And that's what I mean. Make them an offer they cannot refuse. So stablecoins and Deepin, I think, are the place for this mass adoption to come home. Wow. I would say ye, ye answer ne meri bhi aake khol di. make an offer uh, nobody can say no to. Very yeah, you interesting. Can't, you can't beg your way to mass adoption. You <laughs> have to give them an offer they cannot refuse. Definitely. And my opinion is what you told me, Ki, uh, basically, uh, crisis is the uh, reason why innovation happens. Wo sachi mein truth hai. Uh, and, and that has evolved around the world. Basically, uh, good times make like, you know, uh, not the best people, not the best people create bad times and bad times create great people, which eventually create the best times. So uh, ye cycle chalti rahi. Ye humanity ka ek first principle jo change ho sakta. और मेरे ख्याल से जो टर्की के अंदर 60-70% इन्फ्लेशन है, जो अर्जेंटीना के अंदर 113% इन्फ्लेशन है, वहाँ पे जो आप स्टेबल कॉइन का अडॉप्शन देखोगे, वहाँ पे जो आप उनकी करेंसी का डिस्ट्रस्ट के कारण जो स्टेबल कॉइन की प्रति इंटरेस्ट देखोगे, वो बहुत अमेजिंग है, और मेरे ख्याल से डेट इज उसकी खुद की करेंसी नहीं हो तो उसको 400% तक का फर्क पड़ता है एंड दैट इज वेयर मास अडॉप्शन सीक्स 
and eventually it will grow yeah this is what i'm talking about consumer i'm like i don't have to talk about b2b that's very boring but like tens of trillions of dollars move across borders every day like these people understand they have been working on year for years to you know like visa ke announcement agar aap dekho etc etc these are all like cross border payments is just going to be butter because of stable coins and fast chains amazing uh multi coin main aapke hamesha uh, like you know blogs dekhta hu they are really really uh, fundamentally driven plus they have a scope in mind so basically uh, given all those blogs that you have created and you know the, the industry and multi coins investments in the past uh multi coin ka vision kya hai web3 politics what does multi coin vision for web3 in its end state uh this is just like sound more like a philosophical question but like i think we believe that crypto as a technology has enabled at a fundamental layer capital formation at a very higher level than what we have been able to do in the past uh the way we think is we can build global networks at an order of magnitude cheaper costs on a permissionless infrastructure which can also be owned by community uh and the governance structures could be better for these networks this is like all are loaded terms but a few examples of this you would see in things like hive map or like a user community owned map right or like helium community owned network uh financial sovereignty like look we i think at multicon generally strongly believe if it's your money you have the right to do whatever you want to do with it so you should have your custody you should be able to put wherever your money you would like to uh, i think crypto gives that stable coin like that like that's why we are very bullish this entire stable coin payment banking thing right like if people want to protect their purchasing power they should have an option to uh so the, and i think the new banking will emerge based on the back of stable coins uh we also strongly believe that you cannot escape the consumer need for cheap and fast and scalable basically uh and compliant so that's why you know what we are long and generally why we are long those and have been long term oriented uh so these are generally the guiding principles on how we invest and a lot of our stuff is about what crypto does not actually do to like that's what i was saying like crypto is finance crypto is about value sure you can do some decentralized social things and they are going to be successful potentially but like that's not zero to one in our mind uh, if people in web2 according to me open their apis it's game over like it's in web2 they don't because of the shareholder rights etc etc but even if you gave 100 billion dollars to jp morgan today they won't be able to replicate what we are doing in defi so that's my litmus test like is crypto actually needed okay give the incumbent 10 billion dollars 100 billion dollars and let them do it their way can they scale it if they cannot then crypto is the way wow amazing uh vishal bhai bahut log aapke paas aate honge for getting an investment right तो आई आई एम श्योर जनता जानना चाहती होगी कि मल्टी कॉइन कैपिटल एक वन ऑफ द प्रोमिनेंट वीसीज वो क्या देखता है प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर वो क्या देखता है फाउंडर के अंदर वो क्या देखता है इकोसिस्टम और उससे रिलेटेड जो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो रही है उसके अंदर बिफोर मेकिंग अ बेट बिकॉज जैसा कि मैंने बोला एक बैंक आपको एक सड़ा सा होम लोन देने के लिए आपके घर को आपके लैंड को मॉर्गेज पर रखती है और उसके बाद आपको आपकी क्रेडिट हिस्ट्री और ये और वो सब चेक करके थोड़ा बहुत पैसा देती है मल्टीकॉइन कैपिटल तो बहुत सारा पैसा लगाती है ओवर समथिंग व्हिच इज क्लोज टू नथिंग इफ इट इज अ सीड राउंड सो दैट्स वेयर द क्वेश्चन इज कि व्हाट बेसिकली इज मल्टीकॉइन्स विजन इन लाइक यू नो हाउ डज इट इन्वेस्ट कैसे वो क्या देख के पैसे लगाती है टोटली सो वी कॉल आवरसेल्व्स एज हम लोग थीसिस ड्रिवन इन्वेस्टर हैं 
ना वट डज दैट मीन सब लोग बोलते हैं काफी लोग बोलते हैं सब लाइक वी एक्चुअली सेट डाउन एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आर द फ्यूचर स्टेट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड क्रिप्टो कैन स्पेसिफिकली एनेबल and then try to reverse engineer today what it actually means for that state to be achieved to be built today and then seek founders who align with that vision and are missionaries this is like the ideal way we would like to work uh now this is easier said than done but that is what it is uh बिकॉज इसका फायदा ये होता है ना कि बिकॉज इतनी नॉइज है वेब थ्री इको सिस्टम में बिकॉज इट्स सो ओपन देर आर सो मेनी प्रोजेक्ट सो मेनी थिंग्स वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क दिस हेल्प्स यू इन फोकसिंग ऑन दिस मे वर्क सिचुएशन राइट सो आई आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल राइट डीप इन इज ऑल द रेज नाउ वी स्टार्ट एन इन्वेस्टिंग फाइव ईयर्स बैक और सो राइट बट लाइक देर आर ब्लॉग्स ऑन आर वेबसाइट पीपल कैन गो एंड रीड दैम one of the very obvious things that we see is is there a structural cost arbitrage like agar aap succeed ho gaye does crypto make this product 10x cheaper so if you can get that confidence it's very easy to invest then you know that physics works math works market works now we need to get a founder obviously they are very important but a great founder cannot substitute a bad market so we first have to go and understand our theory around the market and why crypto actually makes this market attainable or even in the best case much bigger than it actually is today uh we look at sources of compounding kafi easy hai bolna kafi mushkil hai very few businesses in this world actually have this network effect that continues to keep them growing bigger and bigger uh we look at risks that the business has like look you can come with an idea that's fantastic and i agree with but between that point and this point if there are five compounding risks that i'm taking it's very unlikely i want to do that deal even if everything is right because the what ifs are too many the the, so the one of some of the best investments are where you know this is the risk vector only one of course there are many but this is the pivotal one and if it works out everything else will resolve itself so this is on the risk side uh obviously go to market strategy matters a lot in a dip, in a top, top layer of the stack where you're a consumer because you're fighting for limited attention of everybody how do you convince people like and like then when you come and tell me that the strategy is to go and pay kols and do some influencer stuff not bad but like can we be a little more innovative because ye to tumhara competition bhi karega na like the more you go in the top layer of the stack consumer products is especially important what consumer psychology are you tapping into like that's very critical like why would they open your app versus your competition app again all these are very easy and cliche answers but when you sit down and actually read the decks and talk to founders very very few people have very thoughtful answers to these questions and then obviously price should be right I, I'm a strong believer of a good faith negotiation. Like I don't want to enter into a negotiation where I think the other person is not engaging in good faith, uh, and I would not try to, you know, like if a deal I feel like should clear around twenty or thirty, I would not go out and offer ten or five. Like even if I think I can do it, because I also don't want the founder to like feel upset. Like it, it's a partnership as I see it, and it's gonna take, as I said before, five to ten years. so you have to have that good faith relationship between the two people that yes i am trying to make money and yes you are trying to make money for yourself but we are trying to grow the positive you know grow the pie positive some games so bullet points thesis compounding risks go to market deal and obviously founder but at the end but these founder are- mein kya dekhte ho फाउंडर कैसा होना चाहिए कौन एक आइडियल फाउंडर होता है एकदम हसलर या एकदम स्टेबल यू नो एकदम फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल्स से सोचने वाला व्हाट आर द थिंग्स यू सी इन अ फाउंडर आई डोंट वांट टू बॉक्स देम इनटू थ्री और फोर बुलेट पॉइंट्स बिकॉज़ डिपेंडिंग ऑन द मार्केट एंड द स्ट्रक्चर अगर आप मीम कॉइन के फाउंडर हो आई डोंट थिंक लाइक बीइंग एन जेफ बीजोस वुड हेल्प राइट लाइक इट्स इज एन एग्जांपल बट बट व्हाट आई डू बिलीव इज द फाउंडर रियली नीड्स टू हैव दिस पैशन डीप इनसाइड like within them to work for it that's like that passion and sone pe suhaga would be like 
domain expertise but not that much that you become a skeptic of every innovation that comes. because you know once you become very expert in a field like that's what i tell myself at times too why hey, you have spent too much time in finance maybe be open minded that things can work differently so a person who is passionate about a problem statement and also has reasonable industry experience this is optional but not enough to become a skeptic all right That's amazing uh, last question hamari indian audience ke liye aur mere khayal se ye bahut uh, greedy question hai par main fir bhi ask I'll, i'll ask definitely multi coin uh, such a big venture capital fund uska india ko leke kya outlook hai uh, india ko leke kya plans hai and what do you think about the indian web3 ecosystem in general i think this is an excellent question and i can i mean tell you factually what has happened what we have done in the last just under 2 years i have practically come to india every quarter since may of 2022 the week after luna meltdown happened or whatever i was in bangalore in may 2022 i was in bangalore in september 2022 december 2022 february 23 june and again in november of 2023 uh and i might be coming soon again and i and not only like a bangalore bomb like basically and the reason why i do that is we think because the way crypto works innovation can come from any part of the world and i don't give you the laundry list of reasons why india is primed to be a place where a bunch of great stuff can come out from for the world uh, and domestically in india uh, so we 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 want to be exposed to that as much as possible and we actually put in a couple of months or so every year of mine to be down there so yeah come say hi i'm i'm But trying to as as i joke with people i'm trying to be the seema aunty of that netflix show indian matchmaking where i'm i have the capital in the west and you know you can give me the talent from the east and i can match you guys and i'm coming to do that job so hmm. i joke web3 ecosystem in india kaisa hai वो ग्रो हो सकता है क्या अच्छी चीजें क्या बुरी चीजें रही हैं जो आपके एक्सपीरियंस में आपने देखी हैं गिवन दैट यू इंटरैक्टिव इंडियन इकोसिस्टम एंड फाउंडर्स सिंस लास्ट टू इयर्स इट इज इट इज नेसेंट स्टिल आई कैन गिव यू रीजंस व्हाई आई थिंक दे आर नेसेंट बट आई डू बिलीव पॉलीगॉन बिकमिंग अ सुपरस्टार हैज अनलॉक्ड नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ हंगर अमंग फाउंडर्स सो लाइक यू नो लाइक यू नो यू लुक एट इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम टुडे दिस वाज नॉट द काइंड ऑफ courage or bravery like brave people i thought when i was a kid but ganguly literally did that in one of the tv uh, one of the lord matches and that changed. matches you know what i'm talking about right it changed the psyche of indians that okay we can actually go and win the world when i graduated when you told you know when you're going you know you had bio data and you know arranged marriage and you would go and tell you know a daughters or uh dad that, oh i am an entrepreneur they're like oh beta job nahi mili like <laughs> now it's flip the, the the entire aggression that you have uh and i think balaji said in one of his podcasts that one out of six or seven are indians right in the world now so most of the reply guys and like not reply guys that's a negative connotation most of the people who are actually are chatting with indian like and pseudonymity is increasing so like indians are building the culture so and we know english so i i am generally very bullish uh but things have changed i am bullish because things have changed in the last 15 years for what entrepreneurship means in india uh and look the, the reason why it is is because we don't have a strong i mean it sucks but we don't have a strong investor crypto investor ecosystem inside india which mm. are like rain or shine we are here for you period i don't think any we like very couple of vcs might be able to say that but not many Sp- not especially the people with deep pockets second mm-hmm. rbi bank right like uh, it 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 lasted for a long time but we can't just use that in a, as an excuse forever and the third is india is still a very hierarchical society like in america kids do whatever they want to do and that's fine and in india there is a different system which is fine too but like you have to at least in the back of your mind think mama kya bolegi papa kya bolenge right like beta crypto mein kaam kar rahe ho kuch galat to nahi kar rahe ho and that kind of stop builder from actually taking the full leap you know they'll do some other entrepreneurship thing but i think now what i was talking about etf and social legitimization 
uh, I'm very optimistic to see a flurry of Indian founders jump into this. Amazing. Bahati maze aay show mein. I think hopefully हमारे लिसनर्स और व्यूअर्स को समझ आ गया होगा वेब थ्री वेंचर कैपिटल क्या होता है क्या अच्छी चीजें हैं जो वेब थ्री के अंदर लाइक यू नो वेब थ्री के इकोसिस्टम को ग्रो करेंगी उसकी सोशल लेयर ही नहीं उसकी एप्लीकेशन लेयर को भी बढ़िया करेंगी एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर द लाइक यू नो आई थिंक वेब थ्री विल शाइन एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक विशाल जिन्होंने लाइक नो ही गेव इज वन आर डिस्पाइट ऑल द लाइक यू नो फैमिली वर्क दैट ही हैड एंड द ऑफिस वर्क ही हैड ऑन अ वेडनेसडे to record this particular podcast aur apni insights ko vc apni insights ko share nahi karte in general apne paas rakhte hain investment lete hain aur uske baad insights share karte hain to bade like you know honestly vishal ne apni insights ko share kiya so i think web3 ki duniya wants to thank you vishal and hopefully we also see you in another episode jisme hum aur deep ja ke solana ki thesis ethereum ki thesis और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट आपके जो इन्वेस्टमेंट है हम जो आईओ डॉट आईओ डॉट नेटवर्क के अंदर का रीसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट है क्रिप्टो और एआई को लेके मल्टीकॉइन का क्या थिंकिंग है उन सब चीजों पे डिटेल में डिस्कशन करेंगे बट थैंक्स फॉर लाइक यू नो कमिंग टू द शो एंड गिविंग एवरीबॉडी एब्सोल्यूट ब्लिस ऑफ व्हाट वेब3 वीसीज आर एंड व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द होल इकोसिस्टम टू एक्चुअली वर्क लाइक यू सेड I will give you an offer that you cannot refuse. ऐसा दूसरी का एक ecosystem हम बनाएंगे. So with that thought, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, really enjoyed this. And you know, always feel free to reach out. And you know, you can easily find me on internet. I'm not a uh, anon. So whoever wants to DM me, my DMs are open. Amazing. <laughs>